Sheikh Amir, a 32-year old man, went out along with his friends and never come back. Sadly, he is the only income source for his family. Maybe his family may take several years to come out of the trauma that they had in Hyderabad floods 2020. Yes, I am talking about urban floods, not the typical riverine floods that we see everywhere. This flood has inflicted a damage of 5,000 crores and affected more than 1.8 million people. As a child, I used to love the rain. And when it rains in significant amount, there is no school on that day. Who doesn't like it? I like rain now too, and I do realize its consequences, particularly when it rains heavily. The rain that results in flood makes a city to stand still, causing different types of damages, including human losses. As compared to previous years ago, both rain and flood have a large impact, particularly in cities. You might have seen a lot of rain in Opal and no rain in the financial district, which is another part of the city and a few kilometers apart. As we are in Hyderabad, we think that this is a problem to our city. But most of the cities, including the developing world, do face this problem even now. So we at IIT Hyderabad are working on developing an urban flood information system, which ideally should do rainfall forecasting and then provide flood relevant information as per the stakeholders requirements. So in this regard, uh, the, one of the research was to focus on how is the rainfall distributed over the city. So for this, we looked into rainfall's patterns over space and time. The city of Hyderabad is uh, equipped with a good network of automatic weather stations which capture the data on rainfall and other meteorological variables. So uh, we acquired the data from TSDPS and looked into the spatial and temporal variations in rainfall. Once we know what are the patterns, then we can comment on how flood is changing or how flood will evolve over the time to come or how, what will be the dynamics of flooding. We understand that the high spatial temporal variability of the rainfall is one of the causative factors for the floods in the city of Hyderabad. In a way, I think we are blessed because we are having good network of automatic weather stations in the city. But what if we do not have the automatic weather stations and there are many cities in this India as well as in the world who do face these urban floods and do not have good network of automatic weather stations. In this regard, it is essential to look for certain alternative data resources, especially for the rainfall. And we found that the satellite rainfall is one of the best resources. So among these uh, uh, satellite rainfall resources, the integrated multi-satellite retrieval for GPM is considered as one of the best resource because of its accuracy, its spatial and temporal resolution. The proposed urban flood information system has multiple components and it requires different types of information. In this regard, IIT Hyderabad has been talking with various government agencies such as GHMC Disaster Management, IMD Hyderabad, TSDPS and NRSC Hyderabad. We hope that the collaborative efforts results in developing a robust system that provides reliable and accurate rain and flood relevant information so that our city Hyderabad becomes resilient to floods. To make our flood information system robust and reliable, we seek your involvement, particularly in data collection. That is, snap the flood around you and then upload or share it at Snap Flood, supporting our campaign Varsha Mitra to make Varsha our Mitra.